Dear Mr. Speaker, dear members, dear colleagues and friends, I'm pleased to join you today for the opening of your sixth session. It is an honor for me to express on behalf of the IPU my continued solidarity and support to you and to all the people of Myanmar who desire to live in peace and freedom. My fellow members, the committee representing Pidanshu Lutao CRPH is the only democratically elected representative body of the people of Myanmar. Your work is vital to laying the foundations for a democratic future for Myanmar. I have no doubt that you're very busy reflecting on and preparing for a time when military rule will come to an end. In many countries in crisis, and Myanmar is no exception, the full engagement of the people is the key ingredient not only in solving crisis, but also in building a new, inclusive, tolerant, free, and united society. It has been the toughest of times for Myanmar since the illegal coup three years ago. The military, whose role should be to protect the people, are instead committing the most brutal and cruel atrocities against the people of Myanmar, which is against international humanitarian law and international human rights law. While we mourn the thousands that have died, we must also prepare to take action and when time comes, hold all those responsible accountable for these cruel acts. Dear friends, the IPU has continued to stand firmly with you since the unlawful coup of February 2021 and indeed has been working closely with the Pierre Dangsu Lutao since it joined the IPU in 2012. So, however, our investment goes back even further to the 1990s. During decades of military rule, the IPU Committee on Human Rights of Parliamentarians lobbied for the human rights of hundreds of Myanmar opposition parliamentarians. Since 2021, the committee has again taken up the cases of human rights abuses of Myanmar members of parliament, and we will continue our work until all are free and safe. Dear colleagues, I am particularly proud that one of those core functions of our beloved organization is to preserve peace, promote and protect human rights, and that we have a unique body that defends the rights of parliamentarians around the world. The only international mechanism with the mandate to protect our colleagues such as yourselves, who face abuse, mistreatment and all kinds of violations of your rights simply for doing your jobs. We wish you and all the people of Myanmar a continuation of strength that you have shown thus far and hope that you can regain your freedom and restore the rule of law to your country as soon as possible. Dear colleagues, I wish to reiterate my personal and IPU's full support for the work of this committee. You can count on me. I'm on your side and I'm always ready to help you carry out your important mandate whenever need arises. I wish you a fruitful session. Thank you.